Hey folks, it's Tony Fortunato from The Technology Firm. In the previous video, I showed you how to just do the basics in Kali Linux, just basically updating Linux. And that's kind of a big deal if you have Kali and you're going to be doing some heavy-duty stuff. You've got to make sure the stuff's updated. Uh, I'll just leave it at that. There's a whole conversation behind that I'm not going to get into. So here we are, uh, back again in the stock Kali Linux. I haven't done much to it yet, right? I haven't done anything. So some of the other questions people are asking is, okay, great, everything's updated, now what? Well, there's a few things. Let's just go to the um, actual terminal emulator. So if we just click on this little guy here, it looks like the Windows command prompt. We'll just type ifconfig, and it'll show us our interfaces. Now here's what we want. We want to find the interface with our IP address, and that will give us the interface name. More than likely, it'll be ETH0, and that's kind of important because when it comes to Wireshark, one thing we're going to do is play with T-Shark in a lot of these exercises. So if I was just to type T-Shark dash lowercase d, enter, it'll give me a list of all my interfaces. Oh, what did I just do wrong? Oh, uppercase d. There we go. <laughs> so T-Shark space uppercase d, and you'll see the very first interface is ETH0. Now, this is where it can get a little confusing because ETH0 is the first interface. So we want to use T Shark. We don't reference, well, you can, but we won't reference ETH0. We'll reference the numerical value for that interface. So for example, T Shark dash I for interface and then zero. If I hit enter, guess what's going to happen? Nothing because there's no zero. It's a one. So up arrow key and you can just come on over, hit enter now it says capturing from eth0 and if you were like doing something surfing the net whatever you would actually see all those packets so if i start up firefox for example you'll see stuff spewing out in the background this is also important if we use the gui let me uh just close this guy off there we go you can see all the stuff coming in if you want to cancel this and stop it just control c that will stop your capture i'm going to close the terminal emulator and this time i'm going to press the applications button here, the little Kali icon in the corner. And if you just type Wireshark, you don't have to go hunting for it. There it is. But don't don't click on it yet. If you right click on it, you can add it to the desktop, which is what I want to do. So if I just click on the desktop, now I'll see Wireshark because I'm using Wireshark a lot. I don't have to keep hunting for it. So you double click on Wireshark, it starts up, show me a list of all the interface and there's ETH0. So with the GUI, we're looking for that ETH0, and as you hover over it, you'll see it'll actually show you the IP address as well. So if I pick something like Bluetooth Monitor, you'll see there's no real addressing on it. It's important to understand what your adapters are referenced as, especially if you're going to have more than one adapter in your system, which we're going to talk about later. Um, and this is just to kind of get started. So again, terminal, emu terminal emulator, you want that T-Shark space dash uppercase D, find out the interface number. In my case, it was number one. And the second thing, when we're in the GUI, you'll actually see a reference to that interface name as well. Just a little orientation, something quick, something easy. I'm going to keep building on these. So enjoy the series of Kali Linux stuff. Bye for now.